Welcome to Learn How to Create Roblox Games. This is the introduction. I'm not really going to do an introduction. We're just going to get started, right? So go ahead and get a web browser. This is Microsoft Edge. You can use Chrome. You can use Firefox, any of the major ones. Go to www.roblox.com or you can just type in roblox.com. It'll find it. You'll get to this web page. If you have an account, you can log in. If you don't, you can sign up. That's what we're going to do. I want to show you from scratch, right? So go ahead and get a month, January 1st, 2000. It does not check. I was not actually born in 2000, right? But it's an easy number to remember. So let's get a, a username. This could be a little tricky. There's a lot of restraints on it, right? Simtech Gamer. I think I'm at 13 now. There we go. Simtech Gamer 13. Come up with a password. Right. These are some of my other accounts that are saved off. You can pick a gender as optional. I'm going to pick male and then sign up. And yes, we're saving it. Got it. Any second. There we go. We're at the Roblox page, right? Here's my, here's my account. Simtech Gamer 13. Here it is there too. This 13 and plus shows that I'm over 13 years old. Uh, there's some restrictions for under 13. Just keep that in mind, right? And then if you want to log out, you can go here and log out. Cool. Let's go to this tab right here. Create, right? That's how we're going to get uh, Roblox Studio. Hit the create button. There we go. And then see this create button down here. This is going to download Roblox Studio. If you already have it, it's going to do an update or it'll just open it, right? And there we go. You don't even have to press that if you have it. You might have to. You might have to press it. Cool. I have it. I got this auto recovery file warning because I shut something down too quickly. It's fine. I'm going to hit ignore. Cool. Now I have a black background. I'll show you how to configure that stuff. You're probably going to have a light background that's configured on your computer. So even though I have a fresh account, it's going to get some of my old settings. Now we are at this new tab right here. This is games that you've created or you get one for free, right? You can go ahead and explore that if you want recent games and you can't delete games you can archive them right i'll show you how to do that too not today let's go to new and these three templates are what we're going to focus on these are fresh worlds right base plate classic base plate flat terrain these are all templates with stuff in them right feel free to play around with them i'm not going to do that in this video i might go to one to grab a car and bring it into my world or something like that all right so i'll go with base plate go ahead and click on base plate it's going to open up, right? And you're going to have a various number of windows uh, that are open. I just have my Explorer here. I'm going to show you how to configure windows in the next video. That's going to be important. Here, we're just going to try and play it, right? So this is a fresh world. Nothing is in it but the, the template, the starter template, which gives you a lot. So let's hit this play button. If you don't see that, make sure you're on the home tab. You should be on the home tab if this is fresh for you. Uh, but if you're not, just click, click that home and then hit play. We're going to be in the world. Cool. There I am. I'm going to hit the space bar and jump. Nice. I'm going to hit the W key and go forward. The arrow keys do that too, but people will make fun of you if you use arrow keys. S makes me go the other way. A makes me go this way. D makes me go that way, right? So play around with those. You'll get pretty good at it. If you want to look around, you can, I have a, I have a windows machine. So my right mouse button, if I click and hold, I can look around. That's cool. My wheel can make me go in and out. That's pretty good. I remember space is the jump. We like to do a lot of jumps. Cool beans. Let's turn this off. If you don't turn this off, you won't be able to save your game, right? If you come over here to save your game under file, you're going to see stuff missing, right? So turn it off stop cool go to file now we're going to save it i am going to publish to roblox if you save if you do a save it's going to save it to your computer let's publish it to roblox All right don't worry that you're publishing it people won't be able to see it until you make it public right it's defaulted as private remember that defaulted as private let's call this one dot intro 
And I'm going to make all these games copyable. Intro, obviously, we didn't do anything. We didn't put anything in the world, but let's go ahead and create it. There we go. Successful, successfully published. Hit the close button. Let's go here. Let's close our place. And check this out, my games. Ah, uh, look at that. So when we go to open it, we just press on it. Boom. Cool. And then we'll change colors and we'll move windows around and do some configuration in the next video. So I will see you then.